all right so we will now start with integrating our test cases with jenkins ci tool but at the same time you should understand few scripting commands which we can trigger from our cypress framework so that these scripting commands will be ultimately passed into our jenkins job so first in this lecture let us try to understand what are those script commands and how to create them okay so till now if you want to run your test you are actually giving the entire command in your command line from the project path right something like this now if you look at your package.json file which you created in the beginning there is a section called scripts so basically you can actually give this whole command here and assign one name to that so you can directly call that script by calling this name so you can actually trigger any script with a command called npm run test okay so basically when you give this command test is the script here so when you say npm run and test basically the cypress will come and look into your package.json file for test keyword and then whatever command you pass here will get executed so instead of creating and writing this big command every time let's wrap that as one script and we can simply call that whole command with the name by using npm run okay so that is the concept so we will leverage the scripts and add few more commands by end of this lecture firstly this is the command isn't it if you want to work let's say you just want to run your whole test at a time without any spec so let me remove the existing one this will get automatically generated when you create package.json file all right so if you look here right now this is your test basically when you give this command your test will get start executing right so i have wrapped up that command and i have given a name called test to the script so i can simply run now all the test cases of cypress by calling npm run test so that automatically it will check for test and execute this command okay so make sure you put another slash when you wrap something in double quotes make sure you add another slash so that this will not be treated as a special character nice so let me quickly show how that works don't worry we will build so many advanced script commands here i am just showing the basic one so that you will understand how this work so when i trigger npm run test save your project right so this will actually trigger your test just like how you do with this okay you got it right now execution will start don't worry about it let's continue our discussion and now let's say you have to write multiple scripts here because sometimes you want to run all test cases sometimes you want to run all these test cases in head mode and sometimes you want to run all these test cases in chrome browser because by default it will run in electron right so you need to have different script like if you want to run all tests in electron then test is the command if you want to run all tests in chrome then create one more script by writing a command if you want to run all in electron head mode and then one more script if you want to record them by tracking them in dashboard then you have to give hyphen hyphen record key right and that is another command okay and if you want to target only one specific file and that's another command so basically you have to create all these commands so that if you just call with that name that particular command will get executed okay so in real time you just cannot manipulate these commands every time from terminal you should write all them in scripts and you should simply call them with the name so that that specific value will be triggered so let me stop this for now okay 
and you understood how these are running now i will run this complete test in head mode so this is headless by default when you say cypress run it runs in headless so sometimes um, when you want to run head mode just to see how the execution is going on so let's say you added head create another script head test right so you can actually pass this entire string and say headed so that it will run in head mode when you give npm run head test okay but if you carefully observe this complete command we were giving again and just adding one more new flag right so instead of giving the entire command we know that this entire command is wrapped in test and if you want to call this command you can simply say npm run test so without duplicating the things again and again you have one excellent feature in package.json which comes with node so you can remove this and if you say npm run test what happens now when you say npm run test you know that this will get executed so that automatically this command will come and fall here so that you need not repeat every time all these node modules bin cypress run so keep it as a base okay and you can actually reuse this in all your further scripts but make sure that when you reuse you have to give hyphen hyphen if you put like this then only npm will understand that this is a command if you don't provide this two hyphens after your command then it will treat it as a complete string all right so with this command you are able to bring all this text here and then you can simply add hyphen hyphen headed flag to run this in head mode nice look at here you created one more script and how neatly you organized it without messing it so if you want to run this in head mode so you need not remember all this node modules bin cypress you can actually simply say npm run the head test and that's it everything will get triggered in head mode okay um there is something wrong here missing script did we save our project i don't think we saved it perfect you see that now you will see cypress test runner invoking and that confirms that test cases are running in head mode so next if you want to run that in chrome browser look at here it's opening in head mode but right now i don't want this to get execute i will stop it it's just a demonstration of writing commands so let me quickly create another commands as well before we jump into jenkins chrome test and npm run test this is common right first of all even if you want to run chrome you have to give all this command at the end you have to put hyphen hyphen and then say browser is chrome that's it so if you want to run in chrome just give this target in your test cases so that it will automatically run in chrome mode okay so let me go back to the command line arguments and just see if we have covered all the commands there are two more left which i'm going to discuss right now and these are different options we can do with cypress run you know if you give browser you will run it in chrome and this is not applicable this is when you run in jenkins in multiple environments that comes into picture so don't worry about it and one more is hyphen hyphen config you all know what are the config parameters right those will come by default in our settings in test runner but if you want to override it you can actually do that from your cypress.json and we did that but if you want to send that configuration properties from your command line then you can give like this hyphen hyphen config so that this will be given priority than what is present in your cypress.json file okay so it is just like uh, we have seen one concept right i don't remember it's like uh, environment sorry so for environment also we have declared it here but if you give that environment from your command line and that takes a priority just like configuration 
and this is one thing you need to know and you already saw about how to work with environments right environment host equals to okay and then headed you know how to run this in headed mode if you put this argument and this is a group basically when you record your test cases if you put hyphen hyphen group space and give one name so that all your test case results will be wrapped up in that one group okay let's say you are running 10 test cases with a record key to track in dashboard so you can add this flag and give the group name so that it will tell you that under that group these many test cases are executed i don't know what advantage we have by using this anyways you can try and this is headed you know if you put it headed you will see the browser invoking and if you need any help on your commands you can just give this command and key we have seen this as well that you need to pass key to in uniquely identify your project so that it will be sent that information to cypress dashboard and if you want to keep cypress test runner open after test cases in a spec file got run okay still if you want to keep that cypress test runner open without closing after your execution is done you can add this flag so that it will keep that open even after test execution is done and parallel so this is applicable when you have multiple missions configured in your jenkins so basically when you run your scripts from jenkins let's say if you run hyphen hyphen parallel if you just add this flag then your jenkins will actually look for multiple machines in your jenkins configuration so in real time for jenkins there will be different slave servers attached okay because dev will run their code and qa will run their code different teams will work on your common jenkins right that's why we will configure your jenkins with multiple servers and when you give this parallel flag in jenkins so cypress will actually look on how many machines are in use without use sorry in jenkins and in that machines it will distribute all these test cases to run in parallel so right now in our machine there is only one system configured right now okay this is the system server and i don't have any other server so even if i this argument it will run as a series only but if you have multiple machines in your jenkins like master slave you will definitely have it in your uh, real time companies in your companies if you have jenkins you will obviously have multiple machines configured to that so just give this flag and all your test cases will be distributed in multiple machines okay so that is the one way and the port number you can ask to start cypress on specific port that's really not required why to override default port so and the path to project so basically you should give all your commands from your project path only i recommend doing that instead of writing that in somewhere and passing the project path so better avoid this specific flag just to bring consistency to your test and you know about recording we will pass this to record your test videos execution videos basically and the reporter we saw that when we deal with mocha awesome how that reporter and everything works and you also know about spec file right if you want to run specifically one spec file you will give hyphen hyphen spec space and that specific spec file name so that that file will be run okay so these are different options you can pass from command line and pretty much we covered all the most important things what we really require when we work with real time project okay so now if you want to run all your test cases in dashboard with recording and also by generating the report we have already saw that in our previous test let me get that command it should be yeah this one so this will actually trigger all your test and will post it in the dashboard right so you can say record dashboard test ok 
okay and you really not required to give this you can simply say npm run test so that this will actually place the whole command here and then record the key and if you want to generate report on the same we have already seen i guess reporter option yeah you can just pass this reporter option and that's it so basically this command now will record your test in dashboard and also creates report out of it okay next now i know you might got this question in your mind let's say you want to run only specific test cases you don't want to run all the spec files and you know that you can run one single spec file by giving hyphen hyphen spec but what if you want to run multiple spec files but not everything you know how to run everything at the same time you know how to run one single spec file but you don't know how can i run multiple spec files isn't it we'll see that in our next lecture thank you